Okay, so the question is, is the G29 any good in 2020? That is the question that so many people are asking. So right now we are going to go through this. So basically this is the G29. It is a steering wheel, if you don't already know, that is it's actually kind of hard to race when I'm talking, but um, it's, it's a steering wheel that has the ability to give you force feedback for what's happening on the track and also be able to switch gears. The shifter is actually sold separately. Um, in Canada it's 80 bucks, but in the States it's technically less but the same because of currency. However, basically it has shifters right on the steering wheel as well and you will find that some video games that are racing video games will not actually work with a steering wheel so make sure if you're if you're running a video game that you don't know works with a steering wheel make sure to really uh, look into it as well and then after that you're gonna be all set it's actually a really good steering wheel the only issue I have with the steering wheel is it does pop and crackle quite a bit and the reason for that is it has, uh, instead of it being like a mechanical feature inside, it's, it's actually ran by a belt. And uh, anytime it pops and cracks, it's just that, that belt um, basically popping off of the, uh, uh, the pulley system that they have. But it's, it's something that I guess they've built into it. I'm not too sure if they did that. Oh, I'm going off the track. Ah... It's a bit hard to race when you're talking, I guess. I've learned that, but um, in 2020, this I've had the steering wheel for years, quite a few years, and it's a ton of fun. It's it's never lost uh, its fun factor. I'll I'll give you that. So for the 400 or so dollars that it costs. Or at least it, what it used to cost. I'm not too sure if it's changed price since like four years ago. Uh, to keep in mind the G290 or 92 or whatever it is. Is only get out of my way man. Is only for the Xbox. The G29 is only for the PlayStation. Both of which will work uh, with the, uh, the computer. So keep that in mind as well. Neither of them will work with a Mac. I have a Mac and I've tested it so I can 100% say it will not work with a Mac. Unless you have to download some special drivers in which case I have not seen any or found any. But this is a GT Sport if you uh, haven't picked that up just yet. Um, the shifter in GT Sport um, this this thing, the shifter itself, uh, doesn't exactly work uh, all that well. So you can shift gears with this. So I'm in fifth gear right now. So that's fifth, and I can actually go down and up without having to run the clutch. So in some games like Project Cars, you have to use the clutch in some cars, and other cars you won't. And the cars that you won't be using the clutch in is the cars that in real life have paddle shifters because obviously there's no clutches in paddle shifters. The nice thing with running, um, using this versus in, in GT Sport versus using the uh, paddles is the paddles, whoops, ah, get into fifth. And um, what you'll find with the uh, shifters is they tend to... Uh, not click like you'll hear them click, but they uh, they don't actually work. Um, I don't know if that's just from uh, overuse or if that's just uh, something that wears out over time, or if that's just something I recently noticed. But GT Sport, with uh, either way, with the shifter or with the paddle shifters, it's a lot of fun. Either way, I find it's a lot more fun with the uh, with the actual shifter, because it reminds me of 
my Mustang, my real life car. I just wish that there was a way of uh, getting some clutch. Um, if you were able to actually feel the clutch like you kind of do in real life. That would be my only thing that I would say to add. Uh, but obviously they've already created this. Uh, the question is, will this work with PlayStation 5 when PlayStation 5 comes out in December? Um, probably not. They'll probably make a new one. But it will be interesting as of right now, which is May 2020. Um, we have no word on it, so it may or may not work. Okay, I'm lap four of six. Let's let's try to finish this off. Ah, missed the gear. Oh, too much gas. Ah, there is a reverse. So reverse on this is uh, down and up uh, towards the left. So that's more like uh, European style cars or uh, the uh, or else like the 2016 Mustang I'm in fourth place so I'm not doing all that bad could be doing better ah. I am going to do a rally review in a future video, so we'll get some uh, rally racing going And I've uh, in this game. And I've got a Mustang for the rally race, so that'll be interesting. All those people who say the Mustangs have no or bad handling, I would like to prove every single one of you wrong. There we go, second place, but I'm 11 seconds off the lead. Let's see if we can catch up to uh, first place. I think we can. I'm running a Dodge Viper in this game right now. Oh, nope. Ah! Um, 12 seconds off the leader. Come on, this uh, this Viper's got enough power to catch him. Oh, am I going to be way too risky? Nope. There we go. 10 seconds off the lead. This is a great game. If you... Uh, drive in the snow a lot and you uh, like to speed in the snow this will really teach you when you're going around corners too fast that you don't need to use your brake you just have to ah, third you just have to take your foot off the gas and the car will correct itself that's something that's a basic rule but many people do not know and they smash their nice cars up in the snow I know this is I'm not driving in snow right now but it's a basic rule when you're sliding if you're driving a car with a lot of power, you don't want to go and totally take your foot off the uh, gas. You want to lightly feather it. I'm not going to catch up to him, but we caught up, sort of, six seconds, five, drift that corner a bit. Ah, uh, well, we sort of caught up, we caught six seconds on him. Anyways, that is today's video, I hope that you enjoy.